This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. In this video, we will have a great illustration of the importance of good diabetic foot care. This patient has issues with poor circulation, neuropathy, and poorly fitting shoes, which led to the problems that you will see uh, in this video. So please pay very careful attention. Uh, you'll see wound debridement. You'll see what we do to make a wound that looks bad much better and get it on the right road to healing. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comments section after watching this video. Thank you. Take care of your diabetes and be safe out there. friend and thank you to your daughter for recommending you come in today all right so you said this started as blisters over the weekend a few days ago yes um this part of it here the second the first two from the the, the third two mm -hmm. it had a blister and i went to a doctor, doctor put some dressing and clean it up and then he sent me home and I said okay everything is fine. How long ago was that? That was um, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And then all of a sudden this thing come back. Okay. Taking up the five tools now. Mm. So it looks like yeah everything except your little toe right now is affected. Mm. Uh, I mean you got this piece of skin here that's basically come off. Same here. Did they all start out as blisters like this one in the middle? Mm-hmm. And then they just ruptured on their own? Yeah. Okay. All right, because it's got it. It's kind of, kind of pussy looking as well, look mm -hmm. between the toes. All right. I mean, as I look between, you see how it's a little wet? Mm-hmm. It means you've had a lot of drainage. A lot of drainage. All right, so we've got a number of things we need to do here. And plus you have lint from your socks and uh, and hair on it. I know, where it's regular. Okay. But just because I was coming here this morning, okay. I put on the socks. Right. But it's got hair and stuff all in here too. That, what, that means it, there hasn't been any dressing on it. You haven't been putting any bandages no, on it or anything? No, no. What about medication? You put any medicine on no, it? No, okay. nothing. Nothing, okay. But, a couple of weeks ago, the doctor gave me some uh, capsules, antibiotics, something like that. Mm -hmm. or 12 tablets. Did you finish those? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take a swab here, since it's been so long, to see what bacteria is growing in the wounds, okay? Just to make sure it's nothing to really be concerned about. I mean, there's some bacteria we expect to see, okay? But because it's been open for so long, yeah. no bandaging on it, we have to make sure that we, that, uh, when I give you some new antibiotics, that it's gonna cover what the issues are, or it cover what the uh, bacteria are. Uh, that's our... Get you cleaned up here, okay? Right. You let me know if there's any discomfort, okay? Okay. It's just a wound cleanser here, okay? So what I'm getting ready to do now is what's called debridement, where I remove 
The bad tissue, okay? The loose skin and stuff? Yeah. All right. So it's completely, we call it devitalized, which means it's, you know, it's not attached to anything, so we have to remove that. Okay. Same here. To get this cleaned up. So, do you know why the, um, you haven't been putting any bandages on this? Well, I didn't put any bandages. The doctor did. Okay. For, for, for a couple of days, and then I tried to heal up. Okay. Uh, he took it off and said, it's fine now. Okay. And then come right back. And came right back, okay. Got to clean off as much of this as we can so it'll heal up in a normal amount of time or as normal as, as, as it can be. Okay. Now I'm cleaning the surface of the wounds. And I see how this just peels right off? Yeah. 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 That's called biofilm. Alright, and this is coming right off of here. Like the skin on the grape. What this is, this is a, a protective covering created by bacteria. Yeah. To protect it from the protect itself from the surrounding environment. Mm -hmm. But what it does, it interferes with the healing process. So we gotta get rid of that. Am I hurting you? No. Yes or no? No. No? Okay. It's a little lint sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Same here, cleaning this stuff off of here. The, uh, when I just finished listening to your circulation, has that ever been done before? No. You never had that done before? No. Okay. Yeah, the doctor didn't do that. But, but, uh, you see, you, you do the circulation with that machine. Mm -hmm. And I see him do, him just take his hand and, and you know, touch my foot down there and say, oh, your circulation is good. Okay. But your machinery, um, is the first I see, mm -hmm. you know, and the doctor do that for me, that part of my body. Now, so what I noticed when I was listening to your blood flow, you do have some, uh, some blockages to the blood flow. Some blockage? Yes, sir. Both legs, that matter of fact. So we're gonna have you come back when my um, vascular technician comes. Uh -huh. She comes with a bigger machine, computerized and everything, uh -huh. to um, not only just listen, also to record and document how it's doing. Okay. okay? That way we'll see what needs to be done next. Because we definitely got to get the circulation uh, working better in order for one, for this to heal in the right amount of time, and then two, to keep it from happening again. Yeah, okay. Here's some more of that 
biofilm. This is all bad tissue here. Even the nail is very loose. See that? Yeah, it's all. A lot of drainage under here. The nail is coming off. You want to keep tight reins on this one. See it's turning purple right here? Yeah. And when we see that, that color change right there, that's a sign of bad now. The dressing on this foot is gonna to have to be changed every day. Okay. Now are you gonna do that or is your wife gonna be able to do it or I think my wife had it for hmm? she could have me do that. Okay. Because if you're having a hard time, let me know and I can have a nurse come to your house. Nurse can you mean I can come back here? No, no, no. A nurse can come come every every day or every other day to change the dressing at home. Oh, to the house. Yes, sir. Okay. Whichever you feel, if you feel that you can do it yourself, or you and the wife between the two of you mm -hmm. can deal with it, that's fine. But if it's difficult, especially keeping the dressing on, then you, then I need to know that. And then you send. Then that I have a nurse come to your home. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's looking much better now. Okay. And this I don't know you go over to my wife. Mm -hmm. And you have a to see. Okay. That's the way I wanted to look before you dress it up. Okay. Now I'm putting some antibiotic ointment on each of the wounds. Okay, same thing you'll be doing at home. Okay? Yeah. Just on top of the wounds, not between the toes. It's okay. Alright, this is to help fight the bacteria. I'm going to give you a prescription for a different type of what I'm using here. I'm going to give you a prescription for Topical antibiotic called mupiracin. Okay. This ointment doesn't want to mix with the mostly water based surface of your wounds. Doctor, I ask a stupid question. No such thing as a stupid question, man. <laughs> Let's see when it comes to your foot. You know, and encounter anything that is for a doctor or worse than this. Oh, I've seen much worse than this. Yes? Yes, and sir. And you bring it back around? Oh, yeah. Okay. We've, we've, we've taken cases that are all that, that were near amputation and been able to prevent okay, the amputation. Okay, you made my day today, Doctor. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm worried about them. <clears throat> yeah, we've seen much worse than this come back to complete healing, so... Mm. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to also, we're also going to get a surgical shoe because this flip flop you're wearing today is not going to do it. So come around. Firm but not tight. Okay. So no bath water gets on this foot. Okay, doctor. Okay, we're gonna also prescribe you some uh, sterile saline to clean this. All right. There we go. 
bag. No. No? You know why? Because it doesn't work. Okay. Water always finds its way in. Yeah. Always, always, always. So how, how, how should I do it? Well, uh, I would recommend that you take a sink bath for a while. Okay. Okay. Until this gets healed up. Because we don't want to take the chance of, of it really getting infected. Okay. Okay. I'm going to prescribe some antibiotics for you today just because it's, you haven't been on any for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And it also hasn't been dressed. So I have to make sure everything is okay here. I see you've been wearing a tin. Okay. But if I measure you. Okay, lift your foot up. You had an 11, 11 and a half. But what's the trend of this and this shoe that one was to wear? Right, but over the years now, because you know, as, as we get older, our shoes get bigger. Mm -hmm. I mean, our feet better. As we get older, our feet get bigger. So, you know, you've gone from a 10 to an 11 and a half. It's definitely time to get rid of the, the 10, size 10 shoes. Mm -hmm. All right, because the combination with the uh, neuropathy, which is lack of sensation that you do have, because mm -hmm. this should hurt, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that means neuropathy is definitely present. Yeah, and, because I should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and also in combination with the issues that you're having with your circulation, mm -hmm. okay, as well as your shoes being too small, with the size 10s you've been wearing. So all that comes in combination to create this issue with your toes. Oh, yes, yeah. All right, so. Not only do we need to get everything else taken care of, the circulation, get these wounds healed up, but you got, from here on out, you have to wear the right size shoes so this doesn't happen again. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yes, it does. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow for the circulation exam. Yes, okay. All right. So I'll get your time from it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it and give you the time up front. Okay, doctor. All right? And you're going to give me a prescription to? And a prescription for the appointment to put on your test. I'm gonna come up tomorrow. If you and you're gonna get a prescription by mouth for antibiotics. Oh, oh, you want this one? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, doctor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, very good. Nothing to do with it. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up. To see very interesting cases and my approach and techniques to dealing with them and to learn how you can improve your foot health. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Follow me on social media at DC Foot Doctor. Most importantly, take care of your feet.